Varsity Club, welcome back to another classic. The Shamrocks, you know, we're picking up a little bit. Things are looking good right now for our squad, and we've got a big divisional game against the Dallas Cowboys today. That's going to be tough. Why is it tough? I mean, they still got Zeke. They still got Dak Prescott. They still got a lot of people. We stole Michael Gallup, but again, this Cowboys team, they've rebuilt a lot, and they're right there neck and neck to win this division. So our goal today is always obviously win the game, but if we win today, we'll, we'll move to 10 and 4. The Cowboys will fall to 8 and 6. That is good news because then we just have to win one or they have to lose one. And we're in the playoffs. Division champions confirmed. And unfortunately, I do have a little bit of bad news today. We have one injury to actually report on. And Naheem Hines, again, not a major one, but he's out for 35 weeks. We put him on the injured reserve and we found somebody on a practice squad to sign. Now, the Raiders have a really good starting running back in Justice James. He's a 90 over or 91 overall, excuse me. He's three years in the league now. The dude is a stud. They were hiding a guy in their practice squad. And uh, you know what? I think he'll do just fine. So the guy they were hiding was Ray Graham. I'm not saying Ray Graham is the greatest running back of all time. He's not. But for a practice squad guy, 74 overall, 91 speed, 94 acceleration, 92 agility, 85 carrying, 82 ball carry vision. He's pretty much a little bit better than Bryce Love. And the fact is, he's 25 years old. So you've got a guy that could be our backup running back. Maybe Hines is gone in the offseason. Maybe Bryce Love is also gone. And we keep this dude. Because honestly, 88 change of direction and some of his moves overall, I'm here for it. So tonight's game is a Monday night primetime game against the Dallas Cowboys. Everybody's waiting to see this divisional matchup, a rivalry here. Two of the best teams in the NFL. Who emerges the champion? I'm hoping it's us. Time to see what our defense can do against an extremely talented Dallas Cowboys offense. Dak, Zeke, Amari Cooper, CeeDee Lamb, the whole nine yards, they still got him. Except for Michael Gallup, who... No, I'm sure they wish they still had, but Cooper seems to be doing okay. Nice to the 14-yard gain there. Dak moves under center. Watch it for the run. He definitely go for it. Zeke's got plenty of room. He picks up not a lot, honestly, there. Trying to focus on some pressure here. Second and six. Chasey Hone got there immediately, but Dak got rid of it quicker than that. Third and two coming right back here with the blitz. Assuming a run's coming through with Dak and company. Quick little pass. CD Lamb grabs it for first. Something Dak's done a really good job so far today is getting rid of the ball when pressure's coming. He's sent a lot of pressure. He's gotten rid of it basically on the right time every single time. Zeke's going to carry that ball. Picks up what looks to be three. Second and seven. Zeke back with the run. Zeke's got plenty of room in front of him, but gets wrapped up by Deron Payne. Third and four coming up. Back again. Chilling his shotgun. Hasn't felt his pressure like this so far. Chase Young finally gets to him. Another sack for him, big fella. You're getting double digits this year. Absolutely a great stand by the defense there. We're getting the ball at our own 20. Time to go to work. And Lindley looking to get some run here. Runs into his own guy. Bounces off. I'm too strong on the muscle hamster. We haven't talked about it a ton. Rashawn Dorsett is actually number two in the MVP voting. Lindley is climbing the rankings, though. He's got 1,100 yards. He's got uh, 11 touchdowns now. And he's building on that resume. He can make a late push. Regardless, the Shamrocks have yet to have an MVP season for one of their players. And I would love to see one of those two guys do it. They are our best two players on offense. They have our best possible chance. I believe in them. Look at Gallup. Look at Gallup. What a chance on that one-on-one -on -one play. Diggs made a heads up play though. Stayed right with him. Great coverage. We tried to fit it in. We just couldn't come down with it. Going to a half X screen here. Bye, Lindley trying to find guy. some room. Evades his defender. He's going to get to almost the first down marker. I think he's about a yard shy. So in third and one, we got to give it to our guy that we know can do his job. Bad Lindley. If they block, he's got it. He's got it easy. There was an injury for a Dallas last play. T Hill. Not sure who that exactly was, but you know. Maybe he'll be going for the rest of today's game. We have no idea. Look at Bartell with a great move in the open field. That's what I'm talking about. Patience and a first down. First down again. Putting the man in motion. Going underneath here. We'll take Arnold picking up a yard or two. We're trying our best to bait him a little bit, bring the coverage up tight, and then burn him over the top. We haven't been super successful with that. Uh, yeah, we got to get rid of that. We rolled to the wrong side of the field. Third down, eight yards to go. Looking for that first down. Look at this. Look at Bryce Love getting into the game. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. You don't see Bryce Love a lot, but neither did the defense there. Now we're cooking. Almost in the red zone. Things are looking a whole lot better than they did in that last play. Across the middle. Deontay Arnold almost had the burst he needed, but he's down at the six-yard line. Great play again. Trying to make sure we get Arnold more involved in the game plan. When he does touch the ball, he's amazing. It's just making sure we get him the ball overall. We're setting company drop back. He's rolling. He throws one. We're lucky that didn't get picked. Second and goal. Dorsett looking to have something happen here. 
doesn't see a lot of what he likes has a guy coming back and Gallaby hits him and that's a touchdown we'll take it two feet in falls forward they say it's a touchdown 10 on the year for Gallup not bad picking up here in the second quarter dallas has yet to score they have the ball deep in their own territory but they're driving a little bit skip it about a lot of pressure and glenn walls jumped over the blocker and said i need that third and long now for dallas they need a big play oh nice double move they're actually going deep here cd lamb on trey sanders no trey sanders is gonna win that every single time five interceptions on the year for the big fella that's a contract bonus you'd love to see it what a what a play i mean trey sanders go up and get a young fella make your teammates proud he did all that and then some five interceptions i think that's a career high for him right now i think a lot of people were disappointed that trey sanders lost his x factor coming into this year but honestly the way he's playing i think he might be getting it back in the offseason the kid's a stud and he's showing <gasps> no way that happened off the defender gallup is gonna go in ha ha clint dix is not gonna catch him that was an l that turned into a w gallup back-to-back -to -back touchdown receptions I'm not mad at that one bit. One more look at this. I can't believe this just happened. I mean, Dorsett all the time in the world. Gallup made a move. Dorsett threw a horrible ball here because he was getting hit. And he goes right off the defender's hands into Gallup's. And then he was out of there. How fast did he run? I'd run faster. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm incredibly fast, but you wouldn't know that. This is a big drive for Dallas. They've had a couple of bad possessions here, and they have no points to show for it. They are trying to fight to stay alive for the division title, but just like real life, they're kind of struggling. Dak throws one off his back foot. A big hit by Jamison Biddle on Cooper. Second and short for Dak and company. Sean Dion Hamilton looking to go after Zeke. He ends up tripping him, but we'll take it. You've been blitzing a lot, and honestly, it's working out really well. Dallas has been able or unable to really handle most of that. Put one more guy in motion. It's like a run to the right. We try to fill that gap. We did just that, and Dallas, Where's your running game? This feels like one of those games that might get a coach fired. This is a far cry from the Dallas team we've been playing for the past couple of seasons. And I don't know what's going on, but I'm okay with it. It's benefiting us. Bronco Barnett wide open on this play. Run somebody over, big fella. Okay, that's two people you tried. Keeping things moving here in the middle of the field. Look, Barnett, keep feeding him. Smith is actually struggling to guard him. Finding ourselves here second to four from the 40. Handing it off to Lindley, felt like the right call, and then we get pretty much a first down. Five-yard gain ends up being a first down, so we were correct on that. I mean, can Barnett get more wide open? I want to get into some other people, but the big fella is everywhere right now. Inside the red zone, two-minute warnings here. Trying to go up 21-0 against Dallas. That would be insane. We got Claypool going deep. Claypool's going to get it. You guys asked to get Claypool more involved. We did it. He didn't disappoint. He almost had a crazy catch in the last episode. Now he's back. First receiving touchdown in quite a while for him. If you're Dallas, you're doing this for your ego and your morale, basically, right now. Going into halftime, you cannot go in 21 nothing. You've got to find a way to put some level of points on the board. And doing the little check down, Charlie thinks not going to work, but okay. Okay, your tight end's back. You used him early, and now you got him again. So Dallas went from being nowhere close to sniffing the end zone to all of a sudden, we got to pay a little bit more attention. That tight end, he's vicious. They go to him yet again. I don't blame him. He gets out of bounds this time. and might have had a first down, too. First and 10 again from the 32. Dallas is absolutely cooking. This feels like a different team right now. Maybe they got a right talking in the locker room or on the sidelines or something because right now they are killing us. I mean, sitting back in coverage, we haven't really blitzed this drive. We got to go back to blitzing. That's the only thing that's really worked against them right now. Chase Young, he's there. It doesn't matter, though. CD Lamb is going to carry the pile down to the 11. This is huge. Dallas is trying to get in the end zone. They use the timeout. They got two left. You gotta make something happen. They actually bring in an extra guy for protection, but it's Harris, so he's not a great blocker on the blitz. Chase Young there. Trey Sanders had no idea, but neither did the receiver. Third and short now. Walls the company need to get a blitz going here. Get pressure on Dak. He struggled a little bit with the blitz. Zone coverage, man coverage, he's picked apart, but when the blitz is there, Aaron throws have happened. Pressure off the edge. Trey Sanders is there. He goes for the deflection. I think that could have been pick number six, but he didn't want it. So we're going to line up here to block a field goal potentially. Dallas again, no points to board. Trying to get something, make themselves feel better. This one is up, down the middle. <laughs> Dallas, they finally got something good. So going into halftime, he had an 18 point lead against Dallas. Not what I expected, especially against a divisional rival. They didn't lay down though. They're battling, but we got to make sure we keep our foot on the pedal. The best possible news for us, though, is that we get the ball to start the half so we can set the tempo. Dallas only had 109 yards of offense this entire game so far, so it's time for us to... No, 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 no. Oh, no. No way it's a fumble. 
That Millie has not fumbled all season long. Don't tell me he's fumbling now. Good news. They're going to go ahead and do a booth review here. Again, I think his knee was down or his elbow was down. That didn't feel like a fumble to me. We're getting one more look at it here. Thad, knees down, ball pops out. One more look at it here from a different angle. Ball's in, knees down. He's perfectly fine. So Thad's incredible record of not fumbling this season is still untarnished, and we're going to keep things moving here on second to seven. Going right back to him, showcase we didn't lose any confidence, but the offensive line let us down. Here we go, third and six. Need something here. Feel the pressure. Deontay Arnold breaking tackles all the time. Keeping it moving again. Dorsett has been money. One of his better games so far. Doing a little bit of pressure. Bye -bye. Okay. Okay. Not exactly great. The game called that cross body. I would say that's not a cross body throw, but neither here nor there. Second and ten. No way. Murphy baited us. We jinxed our quarterback. First interception of the game. Okay. What are we going to do now? We made a bad mistake. Defense, bail out our quarterback, get the ball back. Let's make something good happen. Glenn Balls did just that. He said, hold on. Let me pick that off real quick. They went for the check down. We faked the covers deep, went underneath, and we got the ball back for our young QB. I mean, the offense literally just walked off the field and we get the ball back. Defense, great job. Bad Lindley in the open field. Nice spin move, left that dude. Grasping for air. Back at it again. Nice little pitch play. We haven't really run a shovel option in a long time, and it worked perfectly. We'll pick up nine there. That's sort of a new wrinkle we've added in because now that we have Lindley and we want to try out Ray Graham, there's sort of the fake to Graham. Then do we keep it with Lindley? What do we end up doing with Dorsett? There's a lot of potential for that play. You might see that more often now. Great play calling all around. Here we go. 17 yard line. Got an opportunity for the big fella to go get him. Bronco Barnett. All he does is make big time plays. This is a big time player. First receiving touchdown of the game. You'd love to see it. Dallas feeling pretty good right now. They got second and one. They're marching at the midfield. They got an opportunity to get, get more than three points on the game. Nice little slam right here to Cooper. Cooper picks up a big gain against Davis. Trying to get more pressure on Dak. Again, Dallas's offensive line has struggled with that. But if they run the ball, Ruben Foster might hit Zeke like that. Only one wide receiver outside this time. Again, expecting the run. They go right back to it. Zeke this time is going to find some gaps. Almost gets the first down on that play, however. Trying our best to get pressure again. This blitz has been working pretty strongly, but if they break through that containment, it's a whole different ball game. They go to the edge. Trey Sanders doesn't jump. And Cooper brings it down for first. Big fan of Trey Sanders, but he has got to make plays when the ball is right there. I mean, that is another pick for him. If he can just go get his hands up. Zeke running the ball, Glenn Walzo, there to stop him after three. Zach Martin is now hurried. This is another blow to Dallas. Second and goal here for Dallas. Pressure's real. Great pass to Otis Brown. He's in. First touchdown of the game for Dallas. Let's hope there's no more. So Dallas is actually going to opt to go for the two-point conversion here. Again, we're keeping the blitz heavy. We can just get to Dak. Even with the injuries, they've been pretty good about keeping him in protection. And they leak out Zeke, and we had nowhere to be. So now because Dallas went for the two-point conversion, they made it a 16-point game, which is two touchdowns, two two-point conversions, and, well, then it's a tie ball game. Bad Lindley trying to get things going for this offense. He's been great, and he picks up even more yards, almost at 100 today. That run also gave Lindley his X-Factor, which, again, fantastic. Just don't get tackled for a loss in Raguchi. Going with the halfback screen. Great blocking so far. Oh, my God, Jalen Smith might have killed that man. Dallas brings the guy up in the box now. We got a read option coming their way. It felt pretty good, and I think Dorsett actually fell far enough forward that we got a first down off that. The refs ultimately disagree with us, though. It's third and inches, start of the fourth quarter. I believe in our offensive line. I believe in our running back, the best running back in the NFL. That's right, Dad Lindley. We got a lot of guys that are super tired right now. We're going to bring Bartel actually across the middle here. Gallup's got a step or two. What a grab by Gallup. 50 yard bomb to Michael Gallup. 12 receiving touchdowns in the season. That's not one. That's not two. That's three receiving touchdowns for him. And count them. It is five for Rashawn Dorsett. Look at this grab one more time. That's a thing of beauty. We have been exposing Dallas' secondary. Yes, they have an interception that was an ill advised throw, but for the most part, 
Her secondary has been getting exposed all day long. And look at Chase Young. Another sack. Two on the game. That's unreal. You got to love seeing Chase Young do what he's doing right now. The young player is coming out here and shining. Now he's got his X Factor, which makes things even more tough for Dallas to keep their quarterback upright. Third and 17. We're bringing the blitz. We're going to trust our guys in coverage right now that they can get the job done. Everybody's got a, a man. Just go out there and do your job. Prescott staying a shotgun. Chase Young. <laughs> another one dallas is going for it here i mean you know what I, re I respect what you're doing godspeed they're going for one deep we got norwood there norwood's gonna grab it doesn't get the pick but it doesn't matter we got the ball turnover on downs Dorset and company are ready to get things going again this read option game has had dallas confused all game long lindley again is going to push forward that should be i believe 100 on the game for him it is exactly we found a really good balance in our gameplay today don't we have any rushing touchdowns for our young star running back but our quarterbacks played out of his mind and the running game still been productive i can't argue with that and not only that our defense has been electric the past defense everybody being just healthy for once has made such a big deal and we are getting more sacks than i can recall in a long time but really, when you think about it, I mean, we've got Deron Payne, we got Montez Sweat, we got Chase Young, all our defensive front. Sacks are going to happen when you got all those guys there. Look at that. Gallup getting another big grabber inside the five on that play. We are trying to run things up right now, letting Dallas know we are the kings of the division and we're proving it right here. First and goal. Ooh. Arnold. We had him, but that was a lame duck on the hit. Switching our play call up a little bit. We got a couple guys on slants. We got Arnold going out to the edge. Feeling the pressure. Dorsett smartly gets rid of it. Don't want to force anything. Realistically, we should have been trying this entire time to get that Lindley in the end zone because that dude deserves it with how he's played the past couple of weeks. We're going to keep it with Dorsett. Dorsett's going to stretch his legs. He gets in his sixth total touchdown of the afternoon. Five in the air, one on the ground. This might be the MVP of the league. Despite what you guys were saying, he has balled out the past couple of games. Dallas is yet to give up, though, right now. First and 10, two-minute warnings coming up here. They're trying to get one more point of the board to show that, you know, they haven't fully given up on this game. CD Lamb's going to break a couple of tackles, and he gets that first down to the 46. Again, they're getting absolutely blown out, but they're trying their best right now. A lot of guys here covering. Nope. Foster's going to hit him. He's going to actually call that a fumble. They pick it up, and they say it's a dead ball interesting in my opinion that was just great coverage across the board we got second and 12. it's like a halfback screen coming we got sucked into the block zeke's gonna get out of bounds smartly though and they keep the clock dead third and five again we just want to make sure we keep them at 11 points no more points on the board for them they got to go for touchdowns every single time here they're going deep but that's a heck of an overthrow he was wide open this is it possibly dallas's last chance on offense to do anything big here now 41 11. gotta imagine they're going deep they go out here to the edge. Trey Sanders snagged it, but he's just not in bounds. So our squad is going to walk out here with a big W against the divisional rival. We have basically clinched the division. Just win one more, and it's a wrap. This is the game you wanted to see from Rashawn Dorsett. 16 to 23, 300 yards passing, five touchdowns, one interception. He's not going to be a guy that's going to throw for 400, 500 yards, but I will take this kind of performance. Efficient, one mistake, and he bounced back better than ever. Dak, try again next year. On the ground, Thad Lindley, again, didn't get into the end zone. His fumble that he had got reversed, so had 100 yards on the ground. Zeke, we held to 56 yards. Dorsett had two rushes for 10 yards and a touchdown. Again, six total scores for him today. He was the offense. In the air, Cooper, 7 for 79. Barnett, 4 for 61 and a major touchdown grab. Michael Gallup balled out today. He had four catches. Three of those are for a touchdown. I think he'll take that every single time with 149 yards through the air. CD Lamb had a couple. Zeke did okay. Otis Brown was a stud out there. They shouldn't really involve him more, in my opinion, because he was killing us when he did get the ball. Deontay Arnold played well. Uh, we also saw, though, Chase Claypool. One grab, 19 yards. He got in the end zone. It's about time. Carlton Davis was everywhere. They were throwing all over him today, but he still made nine big tackles, and you know what? We'll take that. Glenn Walls had several, or excuse me, seven. One of those being for a loss. John Allen had six. Two of those being for a loss. But can we talk about Chase Young again today? Three sacks on four tackles. He was pressuring the QB all game long. You gotta love it. Also, Ruben Foster had one. Glenn Walls and Montez Sweat. The defense is coming around, and look at this. Two interceptions. One by Glenn Walls. An incredible one after our quarterback threw one. And then Trey Sanders. Six interceptions on the season. He just keeps getting better. Even though he made some dumb plays, he still did okay. 
today's game was great for a lot of reasons right going in there to dallas and putting up 41 points and holding them to 11 shows that our offense is really clicking and our defense is at a next level right now but more importantly getting michael gallup and his return to dallas a major game like that it just feels so good but our young quarterback and Rashawn Dorsett, who has been through the ringer this year. At the beginning of the year, a lot of people, especially you in the comments, were calling for him to be benched, to be traded, to be cut, to be something. Put someone else in the quarterback. But he has battled through adversity. He's gotten his team where they need to be. And right now they're at the top of their division, and he might be the MVP. But still, you guys know none of that matters if you don't go all the way and win the Lombardi Trophy. We've gotten close. We've gotten on the cusp. We've yet to bring it home in Dublin. And to me, if we don't do it this year, it's a failure and big changes have to happen.